Hello and welcome to Secrets of the West End Wardrobe. My name's Paula McIntosh and I'm Head of Wardrobe here at the Pajama Game at the Shaftesbury Theatre in London's West End. Today we're going to look at one of the other departments that puts together the look of the show, which is the wigs department. With its stylish 1950s look, the show needs hairstyles to match the clothes of the pyjama factory workers. Every lady in the show wears a wig and there's even a couple for the gents. Our wig team is run by Katie Marsden who comes to the pyjama game from large scale shows such as From Here to Eternity and Hairspray. I spoke to Katie about her day in the wig room. So Katie, tell me what happens in the wig room on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, well, we come in three and a half hours prior to the actual show starting and then we um, clean all the wigs that you can see here in this room because on the laces, you can see on this one, it hasn't been cleaned yet, there's actually still glue on there and right, you get makeup okay. on there too. So everybody in the room that, of the wigs will get cleaned mm -hmm. away and then we will set them, which means either putting in rollers or using a hair tongue to create a 1950s style for the show. And then once the rollers have cooled down, we'll brush them through and push them into a 1950s style. Okay, so then what happens? Do you take them down to the actors and help them on with the wigs? Um, yeah, what we do, we'll take them all off the blocks and then we'll pop them in a basket and we'll go around the rooms. There's 17 people in the show in total that wear a wig. Um, and we start at the half hour call, so that's five to seven. What we have to do first is everyone's own hair has to be prepped underneath because obviously you can't put the wig on just with your yeah. hair down. Yeah. So we effectively pin curl everyone's hair as flat as possible so that we create a flat head shape. We don't want any bobbles or lumps yeah. or funny shapes going on. And then once that's done securely, we then use um, this, which is called a stocking cap. And it's um, like tights material. Right. And then that will be placed on over the head over the pink curls and then pinned on securely and then once that's done everybody in the show wears a mic and it's um, a lead which will go through over the top of their head over the top of the stocking cap pinned on and then the the actual end of the mic will come to about here so not showing too much right. and then we'll place the wig on top and then using the main anchor points which are sort of here here and then in the nape we'll use wig pins secure that on and then as a final finish just to make sure it's really secure on the lace here um, we will glue across here like that and across here like that and that will get glued down to their actual skin and that will virtually disappear you will you will hardly see any of that and then does, <clears throat> do people change their wigs during the show do you do things during the show um, yes, during the show you have to keep on top of keeping everyone tidy because they're dancing and moving, sweating, um, mm. the styles can get a bit ruffled and so we try and keep those maintained it's throughout tidy. the show. Yeah. And then do you help them <clears throat> off with the wigs at the end of the night as well? Yes, at the end of the night we'll all go back to the dressing rooms and then everything has to be unpinned and if people are wearing glue mm -hmm. then we use a glue remover which is called um, lace release mm -hmm. which gets sprayed onto the lace and then it just lifts the glue off and the wig can okay. come off and easily then, then. And then the whole process will start again the next day. Yeah, okay. start again the next day. Yeah. That's great, well thank you Katie, that's You're been very, very interesting. Welcome. No worries. Thanks. Thanks to Katie for giving us an insight into the Wix department and feel free to ask any questions or leave comments below. Or you can follow myself on Twitter or The Pajama Game on Twitter. And I'll see you soon. So Katie, tell us what... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was like that already. <laughs>